Well, first of all, the Mayans never predicted the end of the world, okay? They have a calendar cycle that's going to end tomorrow, a big one, over 5,000 years. But just like our millennia end, as ours did in 2000, another cycle begins. And so there is no prediction that the world will end. The Maya only mentioned tomorrow's date twice in their thousands of inscriptions. And those two mentions, neither of them talks about the end of the world. One is about a building dedication, and the other one is about a royal visit from a king but nothing about the end of the world. So it's not in there, it's totally made up. That round calendar is the Aztec calendar stone. The Aztec are a different culture, a different people. They're 600 years later, they're 600 miles away. It'd be kind of like confusing the Parthenon, uh, the Greek Parthenon with the Roman Colosseum. Okay, you can't really use one to talk very much about the other. So whenever you see that Aztec calendar stone in a piece about 2012, it's a dead giveaway that the person doesn't know enough to really be talking about what they're, they're speaking on. And right now you've got people spending large amounts of money on websites where they sell 2012 survival kits, uh, buying books. Um, there are even folks who actually buy uh, rooms and missile silos as bunkers to try to protect themselves from whatever they think is going to happen tomorrow. And it's unfortunate that all that money is being squandered, money that could have gone to you know, the family, their own families for better purposes is being spent basically um, bankrolling charlatans who are making a, an issue. Uh, out of this, and, and that's sad. You know, most people don't buy into it, uh, but no, most people don't know very much about the Maya. And so for that reason alone, there are some of us, because we don't understand the Maya, who might uh, be tempted to think, gee, well, you know, maybe there is something to this. One of the claims is that um, we're going to have a peak in solar flare eruptions that is going to reverse the poles, the magnetic poles of the Earth, uh, wreaking havoc upon the world. Uh, the problem with it is that the solar flares aren't scheduled to peak until next year. The peak is actually going to be very low. They've peaked many times in the past without wreaking havoc uh, upon the Earth. And solar flares can not affect the polarity of our magnetic system at all on the Earth. It's created by an entirely different phenomenon. So there's absolutely nothing of merit to that, uh, that claim. Another one of these uh, nightmare scenarios or claims is that there's this rogue planet out there that's gunning for us. Uh, they call it Nibiru. Um, and again, there's absolutely nothing to it. If there were a rogue planet that were going to hit the Earth tomorrow, you'd be able to see it right now during the daylight. If you looked up in the sky, you would look up in the sky and you'd go, oh my God, right? Not only that, the gravitational effects would already be here. Um, your camera would probably be levitating itself right now from the gravitational effects from the planet. The fact that you can't see a Nibiru with your naked eye should be dead proof to anybody that this is absolutely nothing to fear. What I advise people to do is to join the Maya and celebrate the end of one of their millennia. Party like it's 2012 to take a page from Prince. <laughs> That's what I suggest. Have a good time with it. The Maya people are going to celebrate this. You should celebrate it too.